Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Jordy here. I'm coming at you guys with another video, a little bit different style from what I normally do um, from the Twitch highlights. I wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite way to get my shooting badges really fast. If you're like me and only spend a couple hours, maybe three to four a day on 2K2021, you want to get your badges as quickly as possible and in the easiest way possible. So that's what this video about is about today as you can see i'm actually recording this this part after i already did the drills so if you're wondering why i'm getting the badge in my career um after i've already done the drills then that's why because i already recorded the drills part because the nba legend came and i had to take advantage of that explanation so just a little bit of background before i go forward with this method i've gotten in four hours of game time i've probably gotten about six badges i've only played now probably like really consistently for two days yesterday i spent most of my time in the park and it's not really the fastest way to get badges in the park only going up to 21 points so right now i have my finishing badges max and 11 out of 22 of my shooting badges finished and we're technically only on what is this now day four of 2k21 so the badges i also have currently are these but the ones that i definitely recommend getting first um i would definitely say put flexible release on bronze personally i think it will help but I think it'll help you get your badges really fast and then you can take it off if you want to and also you want to make sure just ahead of this too when you finish making your player maybe spend or try your best if you can to get a little bit of vc just so you can at least match max your mid range and your three point shot you don't have to max your free throw and post fade if you don't want to but it will definitely help with your shooting overall if you do so with all that good stuff out the way uh, we'll go ahead and get into a game now. All right, you guys, so let's get into it. Um, if you're like me, I only spend about four hours a day on 2K. Sometimes I spend a little bit more, but I also have a full-time job, so I don't have that much time to grind like other content creators. So what I like to do is I go to my career, I put it on pro for five minute quarters, and that's because I want to get out of the my career game as quickly as possible, be the most efficient shooter I possibly can, and then get into the drills, which I'll talk about after this portion of the recording so you definitely want to get into my career and you want to if possible we've already won the tip this is why it's important to get your shooting max i do have hot spots as well already so and then you just want to <laughs> it's easy as that so i i call for a screen i go to the wing and then i just put it up every time because the defender is probably going to step back a little bit so you're going to have a little bit more room and then you can shoot and then that's when flexible release is going to kick in so flexible release for this game is so op i only have it on bronze the shooting is not the best right now and so flexible release has made my life a whole lot easier for sure so he'll step back and then all i had to do I personally like the aim stick. All I have to do is aim it, flexible release. I can release it very late and then it's going to go in every single time. And that's what you that's what you want to do for an entire my career game. Unless your AIs get a fast break and they don't pass you the ball. Flexible release, when I put that on, I never missed again. I think um, a lot of people really down talked flexible release when it first came out. You know and understandably so it's definitely it's definitely a different badge you know it's it's definitely for like it's it's not a cheat i would say but it definitely helps just to improve everything just in general you want to call for a screen at the wing you see it three times in a row i've done it and i've made it every time it also helps that i have hot zone hunter and hot spots but even when i didn't have hot spots it was still working just like that and i have there's probably people who can vouch in the comment section below but that's just how i've done it and it's worked out really really quickly and there you go you see the ai steps back and even having a contested shot i do have dead eye on but it'll still go in and mike wang mike wang tweeted out that it was a boost for the aim stick so 
you know you want to you i like the aim i know everyone's not a fan of it it's definitely different i also use it in the park too if you want to check out my first park wins video um you'll see me using that uh the aim stick in the park wins video and i was still able to green just the same but it's definitely it makes a world of difference oh you guys and another thing i want to really just briefly mention as well um if you are um if if you can't get open initially um don't just launch one up just because the ai maybe stepped over a little bit just keep trying maybe pass it off to another another ai that's um beyond the arc and then um try it again because you'll definitely open eventually for sure so just keep trying um or pass it off i still need some playmaking badges so i don't mind letting my um ai teammates score a little bit but and just in general i don't personally care that much if um <laughs> they score but definitely just keep trying it'll it'll definitely work out um you'll definitely get open <laughs> okay so game is now over um the score 102 to 78 just where i finished i am 13 for 15 from field goal range and 11 11 11 for 11 from three point so this is probably my best game i've ever played personally but that's good <laughs> um yeah so we are going to see now what the stats are looking like let me move myself over really quick so yeah here's where i finished i got seven thousand um, almost 8,000 points and almost uh, halfway to my next shooting badge on this um, on this game alone. So that's really, really good, you guys. That is exactly what you want. You know, like, you want to get the bar, like, halfway and see again. It's really easy. So then when you go into the drills, um, which I pre-recorded again, uh, you'll probably get, if you do the free throw golf drill, right, you have got, um, you've got the opportunity to literally, um, get 3,000 points and you'll see that in the clip coming up you'll get 3,000 points for doing that free throw golf drill which is going to yield dividends so in total I'll have about 11,000 points just in maybe five to ten minutes and also keep in mind that it is based on it's based on your percentage overall so even if you shoot 11 but you only make three or four that's actually going to negatively impact how many my points you get so just keep that in mind but in these coaches drills you definitely want to make sure you take full advantage of the opportunity to shoot because that's going to get you the most badges that you can possibly get and the most badge points you can get for your shooting badges as possible. So here we go. So here we're doing the fast break drill. I'm gonna call for it. Of course, this is really basic. Um, and there you go, just green, and that's it. I use the, again, I use the aim stick. I like it better. It's just my preferred way. Unless Tim Hardaway doesn't pass it to you. So <laughs> you have to spam pass it. I try, but sometimes I don't always like, you know, um, they don't always pass it, so here we go. So I'm gonna pass it off just to get the, the person off of me. Green, and then you see I got eight points. Oh, well, we have one more. Okay, well, this is a max, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna still shoot one more just because. And yeah, so you'll get your bonus VC, and you'll also in the drill stats you can see so you get three times bonus points because i have a legend so that right there got me 2500 shooting and i didn't even shoot every time um so making the shots definitely help but moving on we have luca so i'm also trying to get my playmaking badges so i don't mind passing it but you definitely here you definitely want to try to get as many as you possibly can and try to get as open as you possibly can oh my god <laughs> unless you're with like the maps players some of them don't have don't get open well so i have to kind of do what i can but okay so now there's that drill 
and you see the second one I got 3600 now I got 17 so in total right now I'm sitting at a bit over 4,000 badge points now this is a rare occurrence because you do have the NBA legend so now this is this is the great part now so after you do the coach's drill if the legend is in your drills you want to go to shooting and the best shooting drill possible is the free throw golf now i think you can also get away with doing um pick and pop or um yeah definitely pick and pop or corner threes but i definitely think free throw golf is the easiest for any build no matter what you will almost always get three stars i don't think i've ever not gotten three stars on this drill and you you can aim it you can do x button whatever you want to do just get three stars every time as easy as you can um so yeah we'll run through this one perfect boom so i've got three stars 24 on the free throw golf so now you're going to get 2,250 points. Now, normally, and this is going to be times three if you have the NBA legend, which is really, really good. So normally, after this one, I'll probably have, I'll definitely have times four. I'll have 9,000 points acquired, not to, not to mention the extra 4,000 points that I got previously. So this is going to yield me 13,000 points in the drills in total once i finish them all now normally it won't be 9,000. normally it will be the 750 times four that'll get you about 3,000 points so at best at best you'll basically get you'll basically get 13,000 points in total when an nba legend is there even with the coaches drills you'll still get times two on the regular you know the regular coaches drills but you know normally in the free throw golf you'll be getting 3,000 easy points every single time you just want to keep all of that in mind but in total you're probably able in all honesty i got about six badges in four hours i only spend about four hours a day on 2k20 i mean 2k21 but yeah it, it's definitely the easiest way to get them. I know maybe that's not as fast as what some people would like, but it's definitely the best way and it's the most consistent way to get it. So you wanna lower, make sure, like I said in the beginning, you lower your quarters. I do about five minutes on pro for each quarter for my career games. So that way I'm able to get back to the drills as quickly as possible to get those, excuse me, easy badge points. So, yes, that's going to basically do it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if this rep method, not rep method, this shooting badge method works for you. And tell me what, maybe some suggestions on other ways that you get your shooting badges. I'd love to hear them. Make sure you check out some of my other videos up here in <laughs> the screen and let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel for future content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.